15 years ago, when you, when you started in gaming, and especially coming from an entertainment and music background, like people would question you. Like, why? <laughs> First question, why? You're in classical music, why now uh, gaming? What, 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 what is what gaming? What are you thinking? Yeah, well, what are you thinking? <laughs> uh, my, my logic was quite simple. Because I grew up in the generation where uh, we somehow managed to sneak around and play some video games. And I see that since we play video games, likely we're going to allow our children to play video games. And yeah. likely they'll allow their children, so, to next generation, mm-hmm, to play mm-hmm. video games. So you started to see this market growth. It's yeah. <laughs> doubled, tripled uh, once every uh, probably 12 years. So I was like, mm, this is a good uh, a business. Maybe I should get into it. And also the music sounds great. So here's Waves uh, uh, Music GPDs. So we can um, chill. Okay. So I have a. It's creating the music. Creating uh, real time. Did, did, did you ever try to sing a song when you shower? Yeah. In the bathroom. <laughs> yes. And have you ever wondered how come it sounds so good? It's because usually when in a bathroom, there's no blanket or carpet. It's very good for sound to bounce and travel. Yes. Meaning it started to create a very natural reverb and mm. delay mm. when you listen to your own uh, vocal. That's why in bathroom, it sounds good. <laughs> right. Any kind of music will sound good uh, yeah. there because acoustic, uh, acoustic is great. You mentioned black box. Black box is yeah. actually the entire autonomous mixing session. Mm-hmm. We, we, we package this as a mm-hmm. uh, black box. Yeah. Uh, use, using the same metaphor. Yeah, we're turning the uh, entire world as a large bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I like that analogy. Hi guys, today we have with us a world famous musician who is also the founder and CEO of Wave AI. It is a music GPT. We all have heard the buzzword GPT, but today we have with us this musician, composer, conductor, technologist, and this gentleman is not crazy about just music concerts. He plays music concerts and background music for video games. Now, Wave AI is something which he thought about when he created World Class Music and wanted to make sure everyone has access to that technology. He is known for his work in the music production of video games like Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts series. These games have sold hundreds of millions of copies as I speak. Who can believe that the founder of a music GPT company is also rubbing shoulders with Google X's Astro Teller, Sergey Brin, one of the co-founders of Google and Grimes, the famous Canadian musician, producer, singer, writer who is Elon Musk's ex-wife. Ivan is building an AI music platform Wave, the engine powering music GPT. Now why is this so important? Ivan has directed music for world famous concerts and video games. If you ever have built music, you will know that creating high quality music is extremely technical, very intense and a complex task with lots of programming and quality control. Ivan Lin's Wave AI platform will automate this whole process and make it available to you by way of natural language interface. You can create a specific kind of music you want just by programming by way of natural language. Take a look at how he's composing live music for a video game at a video game concert. This is mind blowing. Imagine this, you whispering a melody into the air and having it bloom into a masterpiece. No years of scales, no cryptic music theory, just your voice and Ivan's game-changing platform, Wave AI. It's like Mozart meet Elon Musk in a futuristic recording studio and sparks fly. However, he's also the music director and chief conductor of the Assassin's Creed Symphony for the world tour. Without further ado, let's get started with Ivan Lin's podcast. Here you are in the heart of Silicon Valley and creating this amazing company where you want to apply Gen AI to music. And this is not just uh, music which goes into a YouTube video. You're creating high quality Hollywood style music and making it available. I tried out Wave AI. Uh, He's the founder of Wave AI. Uh, You can see the logo here. And I did a quick experiment this morning. I downloaded some music, uh, which I wanted to use for my next video production. And they have a setup where you can download 
authentic music uh, if you pay. So tell me, Ivan, what was your childhood like? You are a child prodigy. You started music at four. You you were a stage performer at four. And what was your journey there uh, to creating music for video games? Like uh, this is like this uh, fascinating journey. How did that happen? Where did the tech come in? How did you start this journey? You know, even though right now we're in Silicon Valley in San Francisco, uh, it was never part of the plan when I was young. When when I was around uh, five, I have a few family members uh, living in Switzerland. That's when I uh, moved there. I started a kindergarten in um, uh, Switzerland. And in the meantime, uh, while I started to be close to uh, casual music scene, um, I was also a um, an actor when I was uh, 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 young. When I was like four or five years old, I started to be uh, part of the few uh, TV dramas uh, at the time. And uh, um, I, I, I recall whenever I'm around the theater, the stage, and uh, uh, around entertainment art, um, I, I feel uh, relaxed mm -hmm. and also um, it, 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 it's always like I'm home uh, mm -hmm. w w whenever I'm around um, the, the, the fields. So uh, I, I, I've been uh, as an actor for quite a few years um, before I sort of really started to uh, take a serious for uh, take it seriously for, for music training. So I started to learn piano when I was 12. Mm -hmm. which uh, is considered quite late mm -hmm. when you wanted to uh, be uh, in a, a proper training process. Like um, when I was 12 at the time, uh, my classmates, my friends, they have been through several years of uh, training already. And we're talking about classical music, so it's a little different from mm -hmm. like jazz or, 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 or pop. It requires um, a huge amount of uh, technique. Mm -hmm. You're working on your fingers, you're building muscle memories and so on and so forth. And I started uh, uh, pretty late, um, but instantly I uh, fell in love in uh, uh, a classical, classical music at the time because um, my, my, my father, um, used to purchase and acquire a, a big amount of cassettes. Mm -hmm. We call the tapes, yeah, right, yeah, at the, the time. Yeah. So uh, that was my first impression about classical music, which is um, when I when I asked my, my father what classical music is, like, how, how to define it, um, my first impression and what he told me was, well, classical music is has a quite a wide range of dynamics. Sometimes it's very loud, sometimes it's very mm -hmm. soft. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remembered I, I started to listen to all this kind of music. Then when I was 12, um, I sort of decided that uh, music probably would be a, a path for me to, to, to pursue. And you can only imagine uh, uh, like, uh, uh, say, uh, a kid growing up in, in Asia, like somehow we, we all play a little bit of instruments, right? Mm -hmm. um, but uh, at the time for me, I, it, it's something that I really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, something that my parents would uh, ask me to do. So mm -hmm. I started to uh, train myself as a, a, a classical pianist at the time, uh, extra time and extra preparation because um, I started late. Mm -hmm. um, so I had a great time, and also I, I, I also remember around the period of time I would uh, practice averagely around like five, six hours a day, which is wow. kind of long. You have to sit there in the small room in front of the piano. Uh, you sacrificed a lot of time on your vacation uh, playing with other kids, uh, friends. All of this was a little unusual for a 12-year-old uh, uh, a kid trying to focus on music, starting late and uh, sort of uh, getting out of a, a goal that this kid wanted to be fully mm -hmm. engaged with um, uh, uh, music. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So there you are, um, churning away five hours a day, 12 year old. What was the turning point uh, where you uh, stepped into the world famous musicians bandwagon? How do you get there? Well, um, I remember when I was 16, I started to uh, work with a symphony orchestra playing on piano concerto, meaning the presentation is there's a huge uh, concert grand piano uh, 
sitting in front of the uh, uh, full size of symphony orchestra. And I remembered uh, uh, when I was 16 years old, that was my first time as a, pia a, a solo pianist playing and performing with the entire orchestra. And uh, that enjoyment is something that I, I, I still remember. Mm -hmm. So uh, go going forward, um, well, I went to college in, in, in Germany. So I started to set on this adventure and I also started to uh, be uh, involved in pop music, uh, jazz music, a lot of genres outside classical music until I moved uh, from uh, Germany to uh, um, Boston. And we know that uh, uh, in there, there's a school called Berkeley School of Music in, in Boston. Yes. It's, uh, yes. Uh, they, they do have a lot of um, graduates and students uh, winning Grammy Awards, yes. uh, jazz musicians, pop stars. It's incredible the kind of music they produce. Yeah. And uh, yeah, go ahead. No, it's, it's from there that I started to uh, be involved in uh, uh, gaming music, which is quite unexpected for me yes. because um, I, I've never expected to be a part of uh, video gaming music production. Mm -hmm. um, but at the time, it was um, um, Warner Music that gave me a call asking me if I would be interested in uh, Jump Outside the Box, which is jump, uh, jumping outside the uh, classical music field and try something different. I was like, yeah, sure. So here you are uh, born in Switzerland and then you moved to Germany. They are definitely places where classical music is adored. It's a part of the culture. And then you come to Berkeley School of Music where they produce unconventional music. And do you think that move from uh, Europe to and the US, it kind of gave you that unconventional streak and gave you courage to move into gaming. Well, so the first year when I was in Germany, I lived in Berlin, which is considered a city that has a lot of underground music, mm -hmm. uh, experimental music. Uh, what is underground music? How do you explain that? Like you would consider this more of avant-garde, where it's not necessarily pop, but mm -hmm. uh, there's a small group of people who uh, embraces uh, this genre of music. Um, I mean, a lot of those you can find in uh, uh, bars, mm -hmm. clubs, mm -hmm. or live houses that mm -hmm. uh, you can access to music that you don't necessarily with find on uh, music streaming uh, a service. So it's a smaller market, but it has a niche where it attracts um, certain group of people mm -hmm. to uh, always uh, uh, go there, hang out, and listen to to to, to new music. So, and because it doesn't have a limit uh, uh, there in in Berlin in terms of uh, this kind of production, so uh, you get to see a lot of um, uh, music also jumping outside the box. Wow! So this is uh, is this house music? You said. Uh, well, house music is one of, one, one of the kind. One, right? one, one of the kinds, but yeah. you, you see a lot of like distortion or variation or yeah, yeah. Uh, transformed yeah, uh, house yeah. uh, music. So it rings a bell, but in the meantime, there there are new uh, shapes there you can actually explore. So it totally opens up your mind. Yeah. Uh, so do you do you actually think music opens up the mind because it uh, affects the way you think? I feel, uh, for example, there's a study music. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're working eight hours, which is very similar to video gaming music, where someone is deeply engrossed in the game for two hours. They have reached different levels. Do you think it plays on the mind? It relaxes you completely so you play better? Is that what music does in these uh, underground music genres? Or is that something which attracted you? Well, it's a, it's a good question. And also it has some multiple layers of answers. But uh, what, what are you trying to describe is actually about experiencing music in different ways. So yeah. when we go to concert, uh, we use our ears pretty much right. to uh, right. listen to the live uh, music performance and where we also see the artists to perform. But the thing is that when, when it comes to video gaming music or uh, let's say uh, multimedia mm -hmm. or applied um, uh, music, the thing is that it's going with uh, stories, characters. Mm -hmm. um, it's not just about one dimensional experience where you, 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 your ears consume music. It's about you engage with the story, you engage with the character. And if you play in an open world or RPG, you play as a character. So you decide uh, who this character, uh, where this character uh, to go, what to do, uh, what to engage. So it, we're talking about experience, not only through ears, but also through your brain, eyes. And when you make a progress with the story, that's how you started to engage with the entire experience. And 
Well, like I, I, I grew up playing a Super Mario Bros. So、mm -hmm. uh, if I heard the music、um, instantly, I would、uh, I would be in that part of memory. So.、Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's very interesting that when you're、yeah. looking at、um, yeah. entertainment, like、uh, <laughs> sometimes we go to shows, we go to musicals, we go to、uh, symphony orchestras, we go to opera, we go to see a movie.、Uh, yeah. All those are different kind of experience.、Mm -hmm. Wonderful.、Uh, so here we are at the intersection of、uh, mind and music、uh, and gaming. So、uh, what you're trying to do with generative AI in your new startup, Wave AI,、mm -hmm. take. Out the the human element and use the AI element、mm. to、uh, you know figure out how to、uh, affect the mind, whether it's by gaming or by way of making movies, right?、Mm. Uh, when you were describing how you created music for a game, I was thinking, let's say I want to make a movie on a runway. I need music、mm. to for the movie to be impactful, and、mm. I know Google research are into generating music for movements. <laughs> They're doing a lot of research on that. So,、uh, how do you see this coming together? Your platform Wave AI.、Uh, let's 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 kind of get into it、mm. uh, in、mm. a little bit of depth.、Uh, yeah. How do you how do you see this playing uh, uh, your uh, ability to create music by AI? Yeah. Well, you know, you know, it's incredibly fun to、uh, be in、uh, tech and to try something that.、Uh, That is not necessarily your background, but、mm -hmm. you're entering some、uh, some some place and somewhere that's that that will require a little more time to get used to.、Mm -hmm. Like when I was in classical music, jumping over to、uh, gaming, it was、uh, one、uh, pivot. And how did you do that? <laughs> First of all, I thought it was fun.、Okay. Uh, second of all,、uh, one of the experiences that I had was、uh, when I went to the Final Fantasy、uh, live concert. I didn't know what to expect because、um, you see an entire symphony orchestra, you see a larger sized、uh, screen、uh, projecting、uh, video gaming footage, and you listen to music performed live by the symphony orchestra. And what I remembered and the takeaway was that even though the concert was quite long, it was like three hours, but it does it didn't feel that, that way.、Long. Yeah,、mm -hmm. it, it, exactly. So fifteen years ago, when you when you started in gaming. And especially coming from a entertainment and music background, like people would、uh, question you, like why? <laughs> First question: Why are you in classical music? Why now?、Uh, Give me what? 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 What is? What、gaming? are you thinking? Yeah. Well, what are you thinking? <laughs> what,、uh, what, what are you heading over? And、uh, what? What I saw is I、uh, my my logic was、uh, quite simple because I grew up in the generation where our parents. Didn't necessarily think、uh, playing video games is a is a good thing is a、yeah. is a perfect thing, right? <laughs> yeah. So、uh, we somehow managed to sneak around and play some video games, and、uh, those part of experience and and memories and sort of engraved in our system. And I see that since we play video games, likely we're gonna allow our children to play video games, and、yeah. likely they're allow their children、so、to next generation、mm -hmm, to play、mm -hmm. video games. So. You started to see this market growth. It's、yeah. <laughs> doubled, tripled,、uh, once every、uh, probably twelve years.、Yeah. So I was like,、mm, "This is a good、uh, a business. Maybe I should get into it." And also, the music sounds great.、Mm -hmm. So、uh, that's why fifteen years ago, like way before everyone else, we were like, "Yeah, let's、uh, try to combine music and uh, 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 gaming." So now, not even mentioning that, like the concert of、uh, League of Legends.、Uh, Legend of Zelda concerts, Final Fantasy concert, like these are some of the、uh, leading、uh, productions, and also it was a way to、uh, cover with concert halls and、yeah. uh, theaters to bring back bring back the、uh, commerce and box office because、um, now younger generation that they, they are they are much willing to go into a classical concert hall to see symphony orchestra playing video game music because they know the music. Yeah. So yeah.、Uh, that's something that we've learned along、uh, the, the way. And a few years ago, we started to think that, well, while I, I grew up writing music, composing music by using pencils and staff paper, which is quite old-fashioned, is pretty much、uh, what uh, those old-school composers, uh, uh, Tchaikovsky or you're talking about Beethoven, Mozart, they use ink, you know, yeah, that, yeah. to score music.、Mm -hmm. And a few decades ago, while、well, they're Was、uh, personal computers and there was softwares. 
some of the tools like GarageBand,、mm -hmm. the easiest to understand. And going forward, you have、uh, facilities and workstations like Pro Tools, Logic, Ableton to help you、uh, score、uh, uh, complicated, large-scale music in a very simple way. Then、mm -hmm. it comes down to this invention, which was also from San Francisco MIDI.、Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. Musical uh,、mm -hmm. uh, instru instrument digital interface MIDI,、mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, which is the way that I think more than ninety five percent of the composers were used to score any kinds of music. Because what does it do? Uh, it's a one man orchestra. You uh use the MIDI controller like this one, like the digital piano, or you you you, you could use your mouse,、mm -hmm. uh, or you could use whatever you want, but very simple to. Send signals into the DAW digital、uh, audio、uh, workstation、mm -hmm. to、uh, convert music sound into data,、mm -hmm. and instantly I thought that was fascinating because you see music in a different dimension. You see、yeah. music as math and、yeah. science. Yeah, it's not just about. You get two glasses of wine. You get inspired. You started to play music. No, there is a equation. There is logic. There is this obvious, but not necessarily like you can model.、Seen. You can model music exactly. So, so tell me.、Uh, let's get into Wave AI, your latest startup. There you were playing music in these world of class symphonies with lots of audience, and all the audience were people who were crazy video gamers. They gamed so much; they knew the music, and then you decide to start a company which uses generative AI for music.、Mm. And obviously, the market is huge because you're talking about gaming. So tell us,、um, why did you do that? Like there, you are on the stage and playing the instrument.、Mm. It must be hard for you to pick up technology to、mm. build generative AI.、Yeah. That's You need a lot of LLM knowledge.、Mm. You need programming. You need math,、yeah. and then you need、uh, good connections in the investor space. You need people to believe in this. How did that happen? Why did you start your company, Wave AI? Is that you're talking about the entire ecosystem, right? Right. Like, and doing music,、uh, there's always this、uh, little nice、uh, mistake and misinformation that starting a music company is easy because we all listen to music. No, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. Entertainment industry. And music, and also、uh, one thing that I can add to what you said is、uh, like talent communication. Like、yeah. you talk、mm -hmm. to artists.、Mm -hmm. Oh, for God's sake, that's another story that we can、uh, talk about. Like it, it, it's a it's a whole ecosystem. So,、uh, so yeah, if, if you can explain what, what are the different、uh, components of Wave AI as a company, how do you segment the company and the products? Yeah, for, that's a good place to start. Yeah, from the scope of generative AI, it's it's quite uh, straightforward. Uh, it's Autonomous music production, which in a way would be able to assist and enable artists to come up with、uh, more creative、uh, music songs, or what we call digital assets. So, so I know in your website there's a prompt where you go and say, "I'm going jogging. I need music, and it plays a beautiful piano music." And then there's also a tab called Love. Let's say so you want them to create romantic music.、Mm. So、um, you're essentially playing God here. You're creating music. You're you're creating a you are actually renting out a music composer. You're make you're making the music composer available to people. Is that right? Well, in in a way, we wanted to lower the bar for、mm -hmm. every single one on earth to access to music.、Mm -hmm. Like it took me twenty years、mm -hmm. to train myself to be a a music programmer, musician, and pianist, and um. Uh, for me personally, I know that how much you have to put into not just、uh, money but also time, like tuition and six hours practicing,、uh, practicing and everything. So the bar to become a、uh, a musician、uh, could be very expensive in in,、yeah. in many ways.、Mm -hmm. But but、uh, but yet we、uh, listen to music pretty much every day. Not necessarily when you turn on.、Uh, A streaming platform and hit the play button, but you go to a restaurant, you listen to music, yeah, and yeah.、Uh, you talk, you, you you listen to friends talking about、uh, con music concerts. So what 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 we do here is that、uh, in terms of music production, there's so much. So if you sort of break down several of、uh, phases for music production, it's pretty 
pre-music production, music production, post-production, right? Uh, yeah. You have to write music, and after you have this idea, during the modern days, uh, you have a team, or you where you can act as the team to uh, start to arrange the music. So you have this little motive, then you started to enlarge the motive. You wanted to uh, put the motive into a instrumentation like a rock band plus a string quartet plus a vocal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have your arranger to do the orchestration. Then after that, you have your copyist to prepare the score. Then you have your recorders, Pro Tools operator to get into the studio and to rent a studio and you have to hire musicians and you have to uh, uh, be uh, really organized about all the uh, schedule wise once you get into the, the music studio then you have this editor coming in doing the post production for you then uh, you have the mixer trying to make your uh, tracks and, and make sound, sound better and you have mastering uh, engineers like for one song uh, Music project that we know of could involve in somewhere from uh, 15 people and for Final Fantasy production we did have around 150 uh, people involved for So let's say stage. that is your normal use case. Obviously yeah. sounds very expensive mm. and very labor intensive. Yeah. How does Wave AI mm. replace that with a simple use case? Can mm. you compare both use cases? Yeah, I think saying re re replacing would be too pretentious. But uh, what we wanted to do is to uh, to help the music community and creati creativity community, which means when you need to work with so many people in several weeks just to come up with uh, a short piece of music, we want that to be more efficient. Mm -hmm. It's like. When there was no internet, and if 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 I want to go see you from the other side of the globe, oh my god, it takes uh, <laughs> yeah. several uh, probably several weeks to get to get across when, and, the globe. Yeah. And when there is no uh, air travel, like yeah. uh, everything was very time consuming mm -hmm. and cost consuming. So now here we are doing the podcast. We were coming in through a messaging system. We were connecting through phones. And, and people all over the world can see us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So we're actually yeah. uh, elevate, elevating that uh, experience from uh, working as a uh, working working a very complicated uh, a protocol to something that's really simple. Yeah. So, well, wave in terms of generative AI. Long story short, it's text to music as the first step right text to music is new this is a whole new genre yeah. text to uh, video is there text to uh, image is there text to music is, isn't mm. this new or um, it's yeah it's new it's extremely new so mm. tell me um i know you gave me a whole rundown of what it takes to compose music in mm. real now let's say i'm uh, going jogging and i want to uh, listen to jogging music with beta one mm. can you produce that music on your prompt in mm -hmm. your own company, a uh, Wave AI. Can you do that sort of thing? Well, so you see, jogging in Beethoven, you already starts to, to reveal a few uh, things, right? And we talked about, uh, we see music as data and uh, math. Yeah. So what does jogging mean? What does Beethoven mean? Mm -hmm. That's where the technology plays a big role here about tokenizing these units, mm -hmm. like Beethoven, the most uh, popular uh, symphony that we know is the fifth symphony, da, 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 yeah, like yeah. three notes, and yeah. now it sort of represents an announcement or a argument about uh, one's destiny. Yeah. Um, so it does have a few meanings um, mm -hmm. in it, and what we do here is to start tokenizing these music notes, intervals, uh, chords, mm -hmm. and also uh, That's phrases. That's wonderful. Mm. You know, uh, there is a particular uh, world famous musician, he uses beats. Mm. These are uh, beats which expand and contract and expand and contract. Mm. Uh, he is he composed the Time, uh, I forget his name, but um, that he always uses beats. They used mm. it in uh, this uh, intergalactic the movies on s space travel and stuff mm. because it's got the tension mm. and relaxation and tension and relaxation. So that's like a pattern. Yeah. Yeah. And that music always flies, always wins a Grammy or an Oscar. Mm. So uh, you're talking about those patterns getting into music. But tell me, the Wave AI backend, 
what does it look like when you're trying to combine all this? What are the components you use to create music for the user? Let's say mm. the user wants to make a documentary mm. on uh, the African savanna. Mm. Then uh, let's say you get that project. Mm. We pay like 5,000 bucks or 10,000 mm. bucks for that. What does the Wave AI backend look like to produce that music? Okay, so uh, I think this is what, what, what I'm uh, going to do. So I'm going to uh, demo a little. And in, the, and in the meantime, I will uh, I will record this screen. So you have... Oh, okay. You have the footage, so I'm gonna do it on my on my oh, no, uh, cell phone. Wonderful phone here. <laughs> okay, so great. let me hit. So here's Waves uh, uh, Music GPT is one of the uh, uh, music engines uh, mm -hmm. that we developed uh, mm -hmm. through the language model Musica, and I will put in um, this very casual thing. So uh, today is Friday, right? Mm -hmm. So it's about a weekend. So thank God it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so weekend um, chill under a uh, bay area sun right okay yeah mm -hmm. so i did it this way and uh okay so i have it it's creating cre music. creating a uh, real time wow that's quick it's already done all we have to do is play now go ahead yeah they have a good internet here which is great but uh, <laughs> okay. let me hit the Wow, beautiful. I love to use some of your music in my production house. But exactly. this is high quality uh, uh, piano you're using. It's not the synthetic uh, piano, it's just high quality audio. How did you manage that? That's a <laughs> great uh, a question. I think right now, con considering uh, uh, there are the few ways that you'll be able to engage with music AI, some of the most critical things that we're considering already is that First, yes, we can train the engine to produce music, but can you sell it? Can you license it? So it's it's all about commercialization. And it has a lot to do with the quality. Mm -hmm. Like you wouldn't record uh, a song in the kitchen and um, hope that a Hollywood production would use that quality of uh, audio that we record in the kitchen to be in an IMAX screen, right? So yeah. the quality is playing a, a, a big role in it. So that's first. Second is that when it comes to music, like whoever is in this industry knows that copyright, entertainment law, you've got to consider that. So is the music that this engine created legal mm -hmm. or it's actually illegal or mm -hmm. it violates copyright, if there's copyright inf infringement, those are the things that we started to co connect. So because we treat uh, music production, music creativity, uh, part of it is that you can actually uh, engage with data and math mm -hmm. to it. So we talk about MIDI. So the way that this engine is generating the uh, first step signal is through MIDI. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily through a sound wave or spectrogram that you are uh, visualizing uh, audio as the first step and you analyze the visual. It, mm -hmm. It's not that way. Mm -hmm. It analyzes uh, MIDI signals, mm -hmm. meaning MIDI is the unit that would be able to carry the interpretation of music, the dynamics, velocity, speed, and it's the most natural way that a musician would perform music or record music into the interface and um, DAWs like Pro Tools. So once you have MIDI, the thing is that we all know that MIDI itself, it doesn't necessarily sound good because mm -hmm. it's a, a bunch of signals. So then uh, combining the uh, professional music production, which is you started to use sound library and you started to sample it, mm -hmm. meaning you, 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 you put a, 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 a beautiful skin above all the data that would be able to carry all different kinds of interpretation in music. Mm -hmm. So the music can sound much better than uh, original uh, uh, MIDI signal and sound. And after that, you enter into a autonomous mixing session, meaning... That's interesting. Is there a, how do you mix music autonomously? Because musical composers get paid a lot of money to make music, and you are automating that process. So there is one concern I have that 
you're bringing machine creativity in place of human creativity. That is one thing. But other thing is, this is fascinating. What a composer does in his creative mind, you're making it automated. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure you have been through, to a certain degree, some autonomous mixing session already. Like, have you ever, uh, did, did, did you ever try to sing a song when you shower? Yeah. In the bathroom? <laughs> yes. And have you ever wondered how come it sounds so good and it feels so good? <laughs> yeah, because I'm in the shower and uh, exactly. I can, uh, my and voice travels to my uh, vocal cords. I hear it first. Yeah, you're having a good time, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but in the meantime, the mixing session actually happens there. It's because usually when in a bathroom, there's no blanket or carpet. It's very good for sound to bounce and travel. Yes. Meaning you start to create a very natural reverb and mm. delay mm. Uh, when you listen to your own uh, vocal. That's why in bathroom, it sounds good. <laughs> right. Any kind of music will sound good uh, yeah. there because acoustic, acoustic is great. Yeah. So then you, you started to look at, uh, let's say in San Francisco, San Francisco's uh, Symphony Hall, uh, there's, there's a reason why it sounds good in a concert hall because yeah. The way sound travels is carefully calculated. Yes. The, there the, are different mm -hmm. boards. Mm -hmm. So it travels up and it bounces back. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the good examples would be if the reverb is somewhere like uh, seven to eight uh, seconds, it actually uh, provides a quite enjoyable experience listening to it. Mm -hmm. And what we do is to quantify mm -hmm. the algorithm mm. and imitating the way the sound would travel in, for instance, San Francisco's Symphony Hall. Yeah, that's your IP, essentially. The way it, exactly. you do that is IP. Mm. And so tell me, I listen to music on the radio when I'm driving and, you know, I come and listen to this. This completely relieved my mind. Do you think a lot of, a lot of people can understand the difference? I do have a bunch of friends who love music. The others are like, they're dumb. They don't, they they have a year that can't have music. Do you think uh, the video gaming market, as you see mm. it, this is going to impact people who can understand music and cannot? Mm. Like, do you think the quality you're talking about, everybody gets it? Mm. By the way, this is also a good question because um, in terms of the audio quality, um, well, there are several groups of people, right? There, are, yes. There's like this yes. group who always pursues Hi-fi, high qu quality. Uh, they, they pay a lot of money for the speakers, you know. <laughs> they yeah, they would pay like a million dollars just to buy the pair of speakers. <laughs> but but the thing is that it's not. It, we don't need uh, that every day. We don't I mean, need that, yeah. Yeah, and uh, now we're shifting into uh, the, the period of time where we would consume media through our mobile phone. Yes. And that means what does quality? Yes. Uh, mean. Yes, what does quality mean? Not just audio, but also visual. Like we would use yeah. mobile phone to watch YouTube or Netflix. Yeah. Then of course we would use uh, mobile phone to play Apple Music or uh, Spotify. Yeah. Then yeah. Uh, do you think the quality is going to be there? The thing is that, yes, it's still there, but... Uh, we can tell bad audio from good one. We can yeah, exactly. Tell that. Yeah. So I think it, it comes down to a fact that this is somewhere that users are not necessarily all the time aware that they are actually consuming a super high quality or just okay quality uh, content because it's not important. So it's it's like uh, Steve Jobs obsessed about the, the screen quality. He obsessed about how audio comes through uh, from an iPhone and he obsessed about quality and today everyone owns an iPhone. Yeah. It's a high quality product everyone owns. So you're trying to democratize music like that. You know, the way we produce music is very different uh, nowadays because uh, when you use a, a device like iPhone to listen to music, a lot of times you couldn't experience uh, uh, what we call uh, the low bass, like yeah. the yeah. nightclub bass sound. I, I agree. I agree. So a lot of times you have to enhance the bass when you produce music for devices like iPhone. Yeah. Then there is this uh, consideration when if it's, being, if it's noticeable on an iPhone, then on a regular speaker, it's going to be too much. Yeah. You know, so there's this algorithm and imbalance that we're trying to, to find here. And not even mention that now there's like 
a 3D audio where you host, uh, you, you hold your phone here, and sound would travel to yeah, your ears. Like ASMR, like an yeah. ASMR effect. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, 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 exactly. So there, there are so many different ways that you can start uh, doing this. But one thing in common that we notice is that all of this can be done through technology. Yeah. That's incredible. So, so the mixing happens through an algorithm you say is crafted to be as close to um, uh, the the real life high quality music production. That's what you're saying. So, you know, um, I know you have three uh, product lines here: Musica, this Black Box, and of course you're creating Music GPT. Mm. Uh, you know, version two is what you're offering. Mm. So, tell us uh, how uh, we can explain to a layman. What is uh or what what is black box sound processing? I know it's mm. uh going to break down what you just said in more detail. So mm. uh, so shall we start with black box sound processing? What does it do? Yeah, it's a product you're offering um, in in your startup. We, yeah. Well, so we talked about music GPT, right? Which is an engine, uh, yeah. AI engine behind that would be able to uh help produce or create music. Uh, we wanted this to be a co-pilot and co-working experience between human and machines. And actually, wow. we already started because we use. So who uses mode. that? Give us a use case. Who uses Music GPT? In, who's your typical customer? Yeah, so uh, you know, for for, for Music GPT, uh, long story short, it's whoever who finds music interesting and wanted to be engaging with music, mm -hmm. they will be a user. So mm -hmm. it can be you, it can be me, mm -hmm. it can be film studios like uh, Warner Bros. It can be uh, record labels like um, uh, Universal uh, Music. So it's pretty much the way to co-create uh, uh, between machines and and humans. But we only see this as a first step because uh, you mentioned black box. Black box is yeah. actually the entire autonomous mixing session. Mm -hmm. we, we we package this as a uh, black box yeah. uh, using using the same metaphor. Yeah, we're turning the uh, entire world as a large bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I like that analogy. Okay. Well, so it sounds good. Whenever yes. you 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 create a a a, a music <laughs> because everything can be calculated, right? It's a, there is a way that we so this. Uh, so did you have to learn math or did you have to learn programming? How did you have figure out the AI behind this? Well, so when you talk about sound bouncing, traveling, and also how it creates this reverb, uh. Room, it heavily involves in math, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the same when I write music. We don't necessarily see writing music as a technique only about creativity, but it's about, okay, so it's harmony. Mm -hmm. There's a way that harmony can sound better. Like C major, there's there are so many ways to present C major. It can be a cluster C major, it can be a divine C major, it can be a depressed, depressing C major. Mm -hmm. So they're all different different things. And I was really fascinated about uh, music theory, especially Western music theory, when I was uh, uh, young. Actually, I started to learn that when I was 12. And you learned other sorts of music, other kinds of music as well? Or? Yeah, we also learned uh, silk music, like uh, pentatonic scales, and also church music and uh, world uh, music. Um, like the other day, when I worked with a silk road ensemble created by Yu Yu Ma, we had to uh, engage a lot of different cultures and different uh, music, like tabla. Yeah. Like the reason <laughs> is you, yeah. so yeah. unique. <laughs> so that's one thing. And like uh, shakuhachi yeah. or samisen, the, the uh, Japanese uh, uh, traditional instruments, like those are all different kind of system. But when, when, when we see like uh, Harry Styles, uh, John Williams, all the way to Beethoven, we're talking about Western Western, uh, Western music, music, music mm -hmm. uh, theory. Uh, uh, so, here. so do so record label companies could use your use uh, your startup products as well if they put their mind to it, right? Yeah, you, you know, uh, one thing that we've been noticing is that um, for record labels, um, there, there's an intention that they, they they wanted to increase the numbers of artists, mm -hmm. meaning you can create more talents, you can promo promote more uh, talents. Because thanks to the internet and the technology, now we are not necessarily only go for one single artist. And mm -hmm. we all have different personal choices in terms of art. Maybe I, maybe, maybe you like Lady Gaga, I, 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 I like uh, Shawn Mendes, you are mm -hmm. into Billie Eilish, I'm uh, uh, into Madonna. So those are all yeah. different kind of choices. But the thing is that the product and the content is far 
far behind from the demand. Yeah, yeah. And as a result, you you, have, you, yeah. you probably you, did you notice that first of all, pop music nowadays sounds the same. Yeah. It it's the same, right?、And、it seems simulated a lot. Exactly, of, a lot of bands. The music, right? It it seems like another song I heard from another album.、Yeah. It's mixed with a song from another. It just mixed and matched what what's working. And from the same group of, group of artists, it's always <laughs>、yes. the same same kind of music. Same yeah. artists, yeah.、Uh, same yeah.、Uh, roster. Yeah. So,、uh, what we're saying is not that、uh, well. It's a bad idea that we have this smaller group of artists, but. Look at how TikTok has been empowering creators and yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah. Like it shouldn't be a place where、uh, I'm going to have fifty、uh, artists、uh, this year. We can do more. Yeah. Way, way, way more. Yeah. So in order to do that, there's no way that you can only rely on uh, uh, humans. Production house. Yeah, I agree yeah. with you. So, so when I started my journey as a podcaster, I will. I was competing with people who had studios of their own, and the cameras costed like a lot of money. And then I had to figure out how do I do it for less, you know. And then、uh, we used、uh, iPhone. iPhone came with the cameras. The cameras kept getting enhanced.、Mm. So here we are. We're doing、uh, production、yeah. quality work,、yeah. but with、uh, the lighter infrastructure, cheaper infrastructure. Yeah. It, we don't have to pay a fortune to do production. Yeah. 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 Well, that's what、mm. you bring bring to、mm. music. That's how, that's what I see. That's、yeah. the kind of help. Okay, so let's say I want us, I want to produce music for a documentary, and I come to you, and I say I use、uh, Musica, and I want to generate a track. Let's say the track is for a journey in a desert. I am sitting on a camel, and I want to shoot a camel in Africa. Let's say. So tell me, how do I go about? Which product do I use? What do I pay for? What are the prices and、mm. packaging I need to ask you for? Well, eventually, eventually, Music GPT is、uh, the engine that you're using. And I, I do my prompt engineering there. Exactly. And, and the better I get at it, the better it's gonna craft the music. Well, yes, it, it's it's learning. It's、uh, learning、uh, behind. And the the, the the whole thing that's behind Music GPT is music. The large language model for 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 music based on Western music.、Uh, Theory. So, so you know, I saw this uh,、um, uh, amazing、uh, article you shared with me.、Uh, you were with the Astro Teller. You were with the Chain Smokers, and these are the who's who in the AI and the music world. It, you know,、uh, Chain Smokers very popular DJ. Uh, uh, you know,、uh, streamer. And tell me,、uh, what kind of、uh, use cases do they have? Astro Teller is at Google. Uh, he had he Google X is the one who made ten X、mm. concept very popular.、Mm. So what what kind of uh, uh, synergy do you have with them? Yeah. So what we're talking about are are、uh, are, are multi、uh, multi layers. Right. Uh, and in particular for 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 the case of chain smokers. Chain smokers. Yeah. And also uh before chain smokers was a host another event with uh, uh Grimes.、Mm -hmm. So both of them men men mentioned one thing in common, which is. As part of the music production, when you use a a doll like Pro Tools to produce、mm -hmm. music,、mm -hmm. they haven't seen or they they very much wanted to see a plugin that's AI driven that would be able to help you save much more time on music production.、Mm -hmm. Meaning, you know, we have to create、uh, tracks on doll like manually, so click click and click and click and click and click, and we have to do the setting and.、Uh, When the MIDI signal is being sent in, we need to do a little bit of editing, like you know, fading, fade out,、um, automation. Yeah, that's very laborious. Very so laborious. You, yeah, you, yeah. If, if you're doing this、uh, manually, you're orchestrating the whole thing. You're like an invisible、mm. orchestra behind the studio setup, and you're doing this, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, the podcast we're doing today. I mean,、uh, if it was. Twenty or thirty years ago, like、uh, you probably would, 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 would. First of all, we cannot do it here when you're doing a studio, <laughs>、yeah. right? And you probably would need、uh, several engineers and staff to like、yeah. to to set up. And 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 today, like we can do this under an hour. So I,、uh, I, I think in a way,、uh, it's it's、um, an enabler、mm -hmm. for larger、mm -hmm. uh, size and、uh, amount of music works that can be、uh, produced, like. Uh, for God's sake,、uh, on Spotify right now we've got around like one、uh, hundred million soundtracks、um, there. It could have been a billion、uh, with, soundtracks with this kind of yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, and yeah. You, you know, like you, you've seen in 
bathroom, and I do that <laughs> too. Sometimes we're talking about creativities、uh, that your music works are not going anywhere because you don't you don't have a tool. Yeah. You don't have a place to go. Yeah. You don't have、uh, a pipeline to distribute. Yeah. Yeah. That easily. So what we're doing is to to make things much easier than before. You are a go to platform for music composers. Who have who can put their imagination using text,、yeah. and then it makes it happen. You don't need to be a trained musician. That's the point.、Yeah. You need to give、yeah. the right prompt.、Yeah. So you、yeah. you gotta. So we, we all do. This is so cool.、Like. This is so cool. I don't have to be a、uh, summa cum laude in a music school, but I can still compose good music if I pro- produce an internet、uh, series. I can build my own internet series with the、yeah. right music. Yeah. With the, and with the right characters, I can get the right kind of. Uh, why with my music、yeah. can create the? Yeah, yeah. yeah we think that it's an emancipation of we're opening up the gate for music creativities. Wonderful, wonderful. So,、uh, Ivan, I I really want to keep going, but at some point we have to call it a night. But let's、uh, let's find out how you want to、mm. connect with the audience.、Mm. Uh, what is the best way? I know you have a website where people can try your product out,、mm. but、uh, really, what are you doing in the B two B space? How are you partnering with organizations? Well,、uh, I, th- I think I'm very easy to be found on the internet <laughs> through、uh, any kinds of. You、uh, have an、media. amazing Wikipedia page, which is very daunting.、Uh, if we read that, I don't think people will think they can text you. But honestly, what's the hotline for people to get get in touch with you? Well, I'm I'm, I'm on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on LinkedIn. My my phone number is <laughs> beep 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 beep. <laughs> No, but 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 uh, uh, I wanted to w- work with、uh, talents that are looking forward to this new chapter of、uh, creating、uh, music because you s- you instantly you see so many opportunities、uh, yeah. creating something that's、Absolutely. new. Yeah. So when I did my uh, uh, like I'm writing my third book for my first book, I got a、uh, audio book artist, and we needed a music to start the book. To begin and then again to begin a chapter to end the chapter, we had a guided meditation routine. So we needed music throughout the narration,、mm-hmm. and、uh, that is one project I can think of. Another one I have a podcast, so we need an intro music for the animation and an outro music where we,、uh, you know, talk about call to actions and things like that. And then、uh, my friends do short short films, and、uh, they are shooting、uh, shooting these dream sequences, and they need music, but they don't.、Yeah. They are、um, using ambient music or ambient uh, sounds. They you know. they do need very subtle, high quality music and to also transpose, customized, yeah, customized.、Uh, and there、yeah. are people like you and me. You know, they are all software programmers for Christ's sake.、Yeah. That's what they do for a living.、So. Well, look, like twenty、uh, <laughs> uh, years ago or ten years ago, people were saying, "Why do we need another platform like TikTok? There is a、yeah. Facebook." But look, when there was when there、yeah. was Facebook, like why do, why don't we need Facebook? We have email. Yeah. So you you know、yeah. we're always going through this transitional period of time where people would be wondering, like, why do we need this? And now people are wondering. Why do we need an engine to create? Yes.、Uh, why do we need AI? Like yeah, these are、yeah. the the questions which humans do. No, I I、uh, absolutely see that. What I'm thinking in the future is we have been living a life two dimensional on the internet.、Mm. What AI is doing is making two D into three D.、Yeah. Like music is outside the screen. It is the third dimension, and music with video gaming is another mental dimension. It's the fourth dimension. Exactly. So you're creating a different dimension for human beings to ex- ex- open up the opportunities. Open it, yeah,、mm-hmm. wonderful, wonderful.、Uh, on that note,、uh, any、uh, last thoughts? Uh, l- uh, let's say、uh, about your life experience, which you want to share with the audience, which inspires them. Uh, well, I, I guess the last is that I I, I do think、um, well, there's a reason why we're in San Francisco,、mm-hmm. and even though we're very music heavy,、mm-hmm. but the thing is that.、Yeah. Uh, Uh, I'm also a newcomer to San Francisco. Like、uh, I, I wasn't born here, but during the first year, second year, I'm fully amazed by how this community embraces new opportunities、mm-hmm. and how this little community loves music. Yeah. And、oh, yes. this is not the first time we're seeing this in San Francisco. Absolutely. There was absolutely. Napster. Yes. There was Pandora. Yeah. And now it's Wave. Well, from Napster to Pandora to Wave, we are here with the newsmakers in music, and、uh, thank you so much, Ivan. Uh, uh, I hope Wave AI really makes waves, as the name has it, 
And uh, I can't thank you enough for your time and for this amazing product that you're building. I'm a lover of music and I know San Francisco is crazy for music. So let's embrace Wave AI and wish you all the best with your Thank you. Thank you.